Dear students, welcome to the problem solving session on Difference Equations using Z Transform. This is part 2 video. In part 1, we learn how to solve difference equations using Z Transform by Partial Fraction Method. In this session, we are going to solve the same problem, but we are going to use Residual Method to solve the problem. So, I will be little quick uh, in doing the first part of the problems where in the second part instead of partial fractions we are going to use residue method. Already we discussed a lot about residue method. You can go and check the playlist and watch the residue method and come back here. So the advantage of residue method is you don't need to remember any of the Z transform formula either Z transform or inverse Z transform. Just if you know two formulae how to find the residue for simple pole and how to find the residue for pole of order m when m greater than 1 and do some simple calculation we get the answer. Okay, let us go into the session. I am taking the same problem. Solve un plus 2 minus 5 un plus 1 plus 6 un equal to 4 power n. As I said, whatever the problem is this, convert into my convenient format y of n. So, convert this into y of n plus 2 minus 5 y of n plus 1 plus 6 y of n is equal to 4 power n. The given conditions y of 0 is 0, y of 1 is 1. Next, we have to write the formula for z of y of n, that is f of z. So, I am going to find z inverse of capital F of z, that is going to be my answer y of n. So, z of y of n is equal to f of z, z into f of z minus z into y naught. Now, we know how to find z of y n plus 2. Just multiply z on the above equation, we will be getting z square capital F of z minus z square y naught minus z into y of 1. Now, take this as equation 1 and taking z transform on both sides and applying this formulas there, we can get a equation in terms of f of z. Let us do this. Now, we know y naught is 0. I am just applying here and assembling the remaining data z square minus 5z plus 6. I am taking this f of z as common. So, we will be getting z square minus 5z plus 6 into capital F of z minus z y of 1 is 1 is equal to z by z minus 4. Now, we have to simplify this. We know that z square minus 5z plus 6 can be written as z minus 2, z minus 3. Either use your calculator or manually you can get this because this is simply a quadratic equation. Next, we have to simplify this. Taking LCM on the right hand side, we will be getting this. Now, z square minus 3z divided by z minus 4. Then taking z in common, we get z into z minus 3 divided by z minus 4. Bringing this to the other side, z minus 3, z minus 3 will get cancelled. Therefore, my final answer is f of z is equal to z divided by z minus 2, z minus 4. In partial fraction, do you remember students, the code is simply f of z by z. Then only I can do partial fraction method. In residual method, we have to do z power n minus 1 into capital F of z. For this final answer F of z, we have to multiply z power n minus 1 on both sides. Then we can get the required form which can be used for finding residues. Now, make the denominator 0. z minus 2 into z minus 4 is equal to 0. We have two roots, 2 comma 4 and see the power here, it is 1. Therefore, z equal to 2 is a simple pole as well as z equal to 4 is also a simple simple pole. The first two steps over. Next, we have to find the residues R of 2 and R of 4. We know that the general formula R of A is limit Z tends to A, Z minus A into Z power N minus 1 capital F of Z because the pole is simple. This is the formula for simple pole. Now, the value of A is 2. So, we get R of 2 is limit Z tends to 2, Z minus 2 into Z power N minus 1 capital F of Z. From step 1, we know this value.
value just substituting this i can cancel z minus 2 and z minus 2 now when i apply the limit i'll be getting 2 power n divided by 2 minus 4 that is 2 power n by minus 2 therefore r of 2 is minus 2 power n by 2 see the beauty of this residual method student i don't use any z transform formula i get the solution for r of 2 you can see the typed version similarly i can find r of 4 now writing the value of z power n minus 1 into f of z i can cancel z minus 4 z minus 4 applying the limit we will be getting 4 power n divided by 4 minus 2 so 4 power n divided by 2 you can see the typed version and finally we have to do the substitution z inverse of z by z minus 2 into z minus 4 we take this as z inverse of f of z z inverse of f of z is nothing but sum of residues of z power n minus 1 into capital F of z r of 2 plus r of 4 just substitute the values we get the solution and we know that z inverse of f of z is nothing but y of n that is my required solution so we found y of n in the similar way we are going to solve the second problem also as usual convert into our required format write the formula z of y n z of y n plus 1 z of y n plus 2 here both the initial conditions are 0 f of z f of z f of z so i'll be getting z square plus 6 z plus 9 into f of z this can be simplified as z plus 3 whole square now i'm writing this therefore my capital f of z is z by z minus 2 into z plus 3 whole square as i said for residual method very important thing we have to multiply by z power n minus 1 into capital f of z that is going to be my step 1 now making the denominator 0 i'll be getting roots z equal to 2 and z equal to minus 3 twice so i can say z equal to 2 is a simple pole z equal to minus 3 is a pole of order 2 because it is repeated twice next we have to find the residue for simple pole we know the formula r of a is equal to limit z tends to a z minus a z power n minus 1 into capital f of z when you substitute a equal to 2 and substituting the value from step 1 we can cancel this and this and applying the limits we will be getting 2 power n divided by 2 plus 3 whole square so my r of 2 is 2 power n divided by 25 next r of minus 3 this is a pole of order 2 2. So, I have to write the formula limit z tends to a 1 by m minus 1 factorial d power m minus 1 divided by d z power m minus 1 z minus a whole power m z power n minus 1 into capital F of z. Now, we can see a value is minus 3. So, we have to substitute and we have to find the solution and also m is going to be 2 because pole of order 2 so m minus 1 is 1 so we are getting d by dz now first apply the values of z power n minus 1 into capital f of z after final simplification we can go for differentiation now z plus 3 whole square z plus 3 whole square get cancelled and we will be getting z power n divided by z minus 2 we have to do u by v rule denominator v square numerator v du minus u dv now doing the differentiation we will be getting z minus 2 whole square in the denominator in the numerator we have z minus 2 and differentiation of z power n is n into z power n minus 1 minus now keeping z power n differentiation of z minus 2 is 1 just apply the limit when you apply the limit we will be getting minus 3 minus 2 n minus 3 whole power n minus 1 divided by minus 3 whole power n in the denominator we will be getting minus 3 minus 2 whole square you can see the typed version now simplifying this my numerator will become minus 5 n into minus 3 whole power n minus 1 minus minus 3 whole power n divided by 25 i want the answers in powers of n and now simplifying this minus 5 n minus 3 power n minus 3 whole power minus 1 will become minus 3 into 25 and splitting the second term minus of minus 3 whole power n by 25 now i can cancel this minus and minus and i can cancel this 5 and 25 therefore my final answer is n into minus 3 whole power n divided by 
15 minus minus 3 whole power n divided by 25. See the beauty of this problem students. If you go for partial fraction, you have to remember what is the formula for z inverse of z by z minus a. What is the formula for z inverse of z by z minus 1 whole square that is n. This is a power n and z inverse of z by z plus a whole square etc etc. But the residue method will give the exact answer without knowing any formula. So, in the case of difference equation, I did two problems for part 1 video as well as part 2 video, but in two different methods. In part 1 video, we see using partial fraction method. In part 2, we solve the same problem using residual method. I hope you understand. Now, you will be having confidence to do any problems in difference equations. Now, finally, we have to write the answer. Z inverse of f of z is sum of the residues of z power n minus 1 into capital F of z. This is nothing but R of 2 and R of minus 3. And we know that Z inverse of f of z is y of n. This is my required answer. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel and share to your friends. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.